So we're going to finish off the session with Mary Dealey from the Film Centre, who's going to talk a little bit about uh, the scheme itself and how it's um, deadlines, uh, important dates, things like that for this year. Hi, is thanks very much, Claire. Um, so yeah, those are really interesting sessions and lots of different perspectives. Um, like cardiovascular disease, it's such a huge thing in Ireland and very emotive as well. So I'm really excited about the films that are going to come out this year from this project. Um, so my name is Mary Dealey and I'm training and events manager in Galway Film Centre. Um, Galway Film Centre is a resource centre for filmmakers based in the west of Ireland and we support people through information, funding schemes, training and equipment. Um, so we also run the UNESCO designation. Galway is one of 13 UNESCO city, cities of film in the world. Um, and so, yes, we've been running this science and screen scheme for the last three years with Coram, and we're really proud of the outputs from it. Um, just this week, I was at the TG Cahar Producer Day, and they were showing their TAM ratings of the highest viewed programmes nationally in 2017. And up there amongst the big budget shows at number five was a science and screen mending legends. So we're really pleased to see science high up in the viewing ratings. So this particular project took a presenter led approach and in kind of masked science in the world of sport. Um, another film that was made that year, Feats of Modest Valor, looked at um, Parkinson's disease. And you just note that they used an awful lot of animation, which was really powerful. It was a very creative film. Um, so that's something that will be new to this year's scheme is, well, we always encourage people to use animation and graphics in the films because some of the science is so complex and it's nicer to show rather than tell. And actually, I was really impressed this morning with the presentations, like the level of graphics, artwork, video, animation was really good. So take note, filmmakers. <laughs> um, so this year, there is an additional like the fund for the film is 35,000 euro. But this year, there may be an additional fund made available, a small amount, um, if you have some sort of ambitious ideas for animation or graphics. Um, so last year, the film that was made was Bittersweet, um, The Rise of Diabetes, and um, that's starting its journey now as well. That was looking at people who had suffered from diabetes, but also looking at the work of the scientists. So you'll see this morning, there's lots of different angles, like um, you have the amazing science, and then you have the teams of scientists and researchers who are all working around that, and you have the people whose lives they that it affects. So they're all equally valid and important. Um, one question we get actually sometimes is, is this a corporate project? Um, is it a promotional project? And the obvious answer is it's not. This is about telling stories that are set in the world of science. And that does the talking and that speaks for itself. Um, so the deadline for this year's project is April 17th. So it's over a month away. Um, so in the rent interim, like you'll have a chance to chat to people today, but also in the meantime, if you have any questions, you can approach myself and Galway Film Centre and Claire and Coram. Um, so the film is duration is approximately 26 minutes. Now, with the three films that we've produced already, um, they have gone in very different avenues, but they've the, the 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 most recent one was just starting a journey, but um, for the first two, like one got a prime time slot in RTE, the other did really well in TG Cahar, and um, one in particular had huge success globally in film festivals. Now, when they were setting out, one of the teams in particular had a very clear idea; they wanted it to be a TV half hour, and that really worked out for them. The other team they were more creative and sort of exploring, seeing where the story was taking them. They weren't quite sure where it was going to end up. Um, and with them, they got a broadcast slot as well and f festival success. So, you know, we're open to both and you can have both. Um, so with the application, it's a fairly standard application process. So you submit a treatment and a production budget. We have sample, bu sample formats or templates for that. CVs of your team and online links to the director's work and also important is written confirmation from any subjects that you want to include. 
Um, now, all this information is on our websites, on Quorum's website and Galway Film Centre's website as of today. And also these sessions from this morning are all being videoed by Dave and Katie here, and they will all be online next week as well. So all that information is uploaded to Dropbox then. Um, something of note is that in the creative team, people include the main people involved um, but sometimes editors are really busy so just to take note of that like you know that the project is going to um, you're going to have to deliver in September or October so you know that you're going to need an editor around September August so editors are really busy there's some amazing editors in Ireland so just get in there and book them <laughs> um, so Interviews for this project are going to take place on the 3rd of May in Galway. And um, the delivery date for the film is October 5th. And there's another um, date before that, which is September 27th is World Heart Day. So you will need to deliver a trailer for the project for then. So as I say, I am the contact in Film Centre and Claire is the contact in Coram. Um, also, another note is we premiere the film in November in Science Week. Um, so every year that happens in the Tyve Arc here in Galway City. And it's a superstar to the film. Um, so, yes, that's kind of a summary of the scheme. Um, does anyone have any questions? Mary, are you looking for like individuals to apply or uh, teams of director, producers, writers or companies? We're, we're open to all and all have applied. Um, but at a minimum, really, we want a team like the, the best idea is a big factor. Um, a team that we can count on and track record is good, too. You will need CVs of a creative team. And are there advantages to having more of the team in place at the time of application? Like if you've got your, your DOP and cinematographer and the editor and stuff, is that more advantageous to have more of the team in place when you're applying? Yeah, you know, it just, I suppose, as well shows like a level of organisation. I know it takes time and people are often really busy and can't commit their schedule, but um, it's better if you do. And are there any any restrictions with regard to day rates and things like that on the budget? Are they having to ad adhere to any IFB regulations or any of that kind of stuff? No, no, we're not. Um, so just obviously everyone has to be compensated and compensated fairly for the work they do but we don't have set rates for this scheme yeah okay well that's it thank you very much